Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise to the Trinitarian God. Amen. Praise to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Holy Spirit, Amen. yes. Praise to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Praise to the eternal Word of God, yes. Lord Jesus Christ. Bible teaches we all messed up. Mm. We are all in broken world. Bible teaches that in the beginning, God made the world. God made men and women. God created everything in it. Soon after God created men and women, God said it was good. Mm. But something happened. Men and women choose to sin against God. They sin against one another and they sin against creation. While they were made in image of God, we see from the Bible, image of God is broken. Yes. Sin and bad things entered in this world. Mm. That is the time Lord Jesus Christ steps in. Bible tells us Jesus is the good news to this broken world. Bible tells us it is Jesus who is going to bring us back to God. And we read throughout the Bible that Jesus, eternal word of God, mm. comes and dwells among us. Jesus, eternal word of God, Messiah, comes and dies on the cross. Amen. He buried and he resurrected on the third day. Yes. Today, he is seated at the right hand of the Father. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ, who makes us right with God. Amen. Who makes us good enough for God, because He is good for God. Amen. Today, we want to talk about Day of Judgment. Christians and Muslims believe that God, who created everything and everything in it, one day going to judge mankind. Yes. Mm. But Christian scripture teaches because the blood of Jesus Christ, because of his death and resurrection, we are all stand in the presence of God as people who are redeemed. Amen. And Muslims are going to be in that day on the day of judgment. Mm. They will be accountable for what they believe, for what they have done. today is who are you going to meet on the day of judgment yes so we're gonna go through various scriptures like the Quran and the hadith to see on the day of resurrection who will Muslims meet Quran makes a claim that Quran is the word of Allah yeah Muslims believe Quran is the eternal word of Allah yeah and then people what is the will of Allah. Yeah. It doesn't reveal to Allah, but it reveals His will. As it reveals His will, Quran also talks a lot about Day of Judgment. Let's turn to the Surah 68. So Surah 68. Let's read it from, oh, let's read it from I've the got Quran. It, I've got it on my phone. No, read it from the Quran. The day the shin will be uncovered and there invited to prostrate but they will not be able to thank you very much so no, whose wait, shin is this first of all don't go so far why, why yes. all right all right let's, let's slow down so, yeah slow down i am arabic so, i am lebanese sir, arabic okay i'm talking about arabic first sam are you english yeah. okay can you tell oh, us good good so this is the time i am turkish i will need help from english to break down some words what is shin depends what you're referring to if you're referring biologically then it's that okay if you are doing biologically brother let's see your no shin. no it's the shit is here it doesn't matter here. okay so if it is not biological what is shin what is your alternative definition for the shin Sorry? I would only know the biological term. Okay, so you don't know any other definition for the shin. Verse tells us shin will be uncovered. 
earth. On the and day of resurrection. On the day of resurrection. Yes. And people will be asked to prostrate to the prostrate to our saints. Yes. Okay? Yes. So in practice, we will see, we will see the sheep naked, like we see Yahya is naked, yeah? and then people will be asked to bow down to it. Okay? So my question to you, Yahya, since you seem to be faithful Muslim, tell me, who is she? Is this Yahya? Is this Yahya? It's one. She Sorry? in Surah 68. That one you just read. 42. Who is she? Who is it? She is this? Should I, I'm going to read it from the punchline. Yeah? So Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 9, book 93, number 532. So we're not making it up, yeah? Do you know any sign by which you can recognize him? They will say, the shin. And so Allah will then uncover his shin, whereupon every believer will prostrate before him, and they will remain those who used to prostrate before him just for showing off and for gaining good reputation. Why are so, Islamic Dawah to pass off? It was the shin of, of a people. human. Sahih, Sahih al-Bukhari. It is the shin of Allah. Again. No, no, again. Today. Again. Come Allah. The shin will be uncovered. You have been ending in Bible. And they are invited to prostration. Okay, and now prostrate. Yes. So like, let's read the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, Surah 68, Ayah 42. Brother, let me read it. Islamic Dawah. He's going to reject it. We'll see. And do you think they are going to accept? Let's see what they say. Let's see what they say. It says, Our Lord will reveal his shin and every believing male and female will prostrate. So, Are you listening? You're not even listening. It's very clear. It says, our Lord will reveal his shin and every believing male and female will prostrate. Even Kathir the Tafsir of Surah 68, Ayah 42. So we have given you Bukhari, we've given you Tafsir and the Quran and you reject it. Why are you still a Muslim? Let's move on. This is my problem. I have a shin of Allah, which people will recognize Allah on the day of judgment. What else Muslims are going to see on the day of judgment? So far, they are not able to identify Allah from His glory, from His holiness, or anything else besides His shin. What else do we have on the day of judgment? Daniel? We have three other things. So the first one is, Suras will come as a bird. Please, Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim, 41757. Abu Umar. the eternal word of Allah, just remember that. Sorry. No, this is Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim is talking about the eternal word yeah. of Allah. Yeah, he is. Heart of Allah. Sahih Muslim, authentic, yeah? Okay. Abu Umar said, he heard Allah's messenger say, okay. so your prophet is saying okay. that, recite the Quran, for on the day of resurrection, it will come as an intercessor for those who recite it. The Quran will come as an intercessor. Recite the two bright ones, Al-Baqarah and Surah Al-Imran. Surah 2 and Surah 3. For on the day of resurrection, there will come as two clouds or two shades or two flocks of birds in ranks pleading for those who recite them. Here's the problem Muslims have. It is the eternal word of God. Part of the eternal word of God on the day of judgment is going to appear as the shape and form of animal. The word of Allah. The words of Allah to intercede for those who recite it. You're back, okay. The hadith says, it was narrated from Ibn Burhaidiya that his father told the messenger of Allah said, so this is Muhammad talking again, not me, the Quran will come on the day of the resurrection like a pale man. What does pale man mean? Pale man, I can't see any pale people here. Okay. And will say, 
I am the one that, that uh, kept you awake at night and made you thirsty during the day. Yes. Uh, Here's the problem. Why are you on the day of judgment? Muslims are going to see uncovered sin of Allah. While they will have the bird of Allah in the form of birth. Yeah. While they will have the bird of Allah in the form of pale man. Pale man like a pale man. While yes. they will have the eternal heaven. Still, whatever you have, you are going to be dead to the hell. Because you are to fall God. You are worshipping one who is not going to take you to heaven. You are worshipping and following someone who is leading you to hell. It comes to the... Can you advise me who to worship? Oh, We're about to. I am delighted. Islamist Dawah team gave up on Allah and Muhammad. Hallelujah. Amen. That's good. Tell me, tells us tell me who to watch it. Is, it is the eternal word of God. Amen. The one who gives eternal life. It is the one who is identified as Christ who is alive. John? It is the reason Lord is going to take you to the place of God. You mean, you mean the worshiper? The worshipper Jesus, the slave and the servant of Allah. You no. Worship. No. Let's read what he said. Allah. Because I can see him. Let's read. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's Jesus read what he said. To himself as a yeah, servant. And Matthew 10:22. Okay, refers to himself as a prophet. Matthew 8:20. No, 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 no sir. You're not giving us any quotation here. Matthew Can I read it? Can I read it? You want me to worship? Can I read it? This is what Jesus said. John 10, yeah. John 10, 28. Yeah, John I give them eternal life and they Jesus. shall never perish. Yeah. No one will life. snatch them out of my hands. Bye. That's Jesus. Bye. Bye. I give them eternal life. How could a prophet give you eternal I, life? I, I tell you why. By obedience to Almighty God. That's not what it says. The scripture doesn't say that. He said, I will give you eternal life. He cannot give you. He said he it here. He cannot give you anything. Because when that woman, she, John 10, she approached him and she told him, let my son be on the side. He said, it's not for me to, say, to decide where your son will be. God that's not that's not life. eternal life. Yes. That's not eternal life. life. That's not eternal, eternal life. Not eternal life. life. That, that is about rewards. That's different. The one, the worship the one who sent Jesus. Why all Muslims are asking Why us who they need to follow after the acknowledging. It's not working. Sheen of Allah is not going it's to the other them. side. After they are acknowledging the birds, bird of Allah, hey yeah. man. Bird of Allah, eternal tablets, mother of the books, are not going to help them out. Nope. Whom they need to follow. Let me tell you whom you need to follow and why you need to follow. Let the scripture speak. Well, oh, by the way, when they're in doubt, you to worship him, so while he worship the God and the earth and heaven. So he Lord was down Jesus on earth, Christ, playing games here for three years to get killed. Are you going to listen? Yeah, I'm listening. This All right. is taking place in heaven, Yahya. Yeah. Listen carefully. Right. Then I saw the lamb looking as if it had been slain. So Jesus is the lamb? Which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung and he sung. You are to take the scroll and to open its seals because you were slain, slain. and with your blood you purchased men for God Amen. from every tribe from every language from every people there you every go. nation you have made them to be kingdom and priests to serve our God and they will be Revelation chapter 5. Where is the Lamb who was slain? 
to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. That is Jesus. I heard every creature in heaven Amen. and on earth and under the earth, on the sea and all in the tent singing to whom who sits on the throne, to the Lamb, be praised, be honored, glory and power forever and ever. Follow the That's one. who we need to worship. He's waiting. He's waiting for you. Come back to Jesus. I don't need your bloody God who wants the blood to forgive the sin of others. You need Jesus' blood to be reconciled back to God. So the new covenant reconciled back to God by the blood of Jesus. Come to know him, the way, the truth, and the life. God bless you.